Prayer for the 2022 National and Local Elections Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us begin this Eucharistic celebration by preparing ourselves. Let us call to mind our many sins. Let us ask God's forgiveness. Let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, 
he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain, and for nothing uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O oh Lord, my trust, O oh God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth, from my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at the loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, it is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those reclining at table realized why he said, he said this to him. 
Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, buy what we need for the feast or to give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, when the night is darkest, the stars shine brightest. Sa pinakamadilim na gabi, nagniningning ang mga bituin. This saying best summarizes our readings this Tuesday of Holy Week. In our first reading, we heard from the book of the prophet Isaiah. From that section, called the Canticle of the Suffering Servant of the Lord. And in our first reading, we heard the Servant of the Lord lamenting because although he faithfully labored for the Lord, it seems that his labors are in vain. Sa kabila ng lahat ng kanyang ginagawa, pagtupad sa misyon na ibinigay sa kanya ng Panginoon, sabi ng lingkod ng Panginoon, parang wala namang nangyayari, parang hindi naman ako nagtatagumpay sa aking ginagawa. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing uselessly spent my strength. It was a moment of darkness for that servant of the Lord. Kung sino man sa atin na nakaranas ng ganitong karanasan, ginawa mo ng lahat, pero parang walang bunga ang iyong pagsisikap. Ginawa mo ng lahat, pero parang nabaliwala lang ang iyong pagpapagod. Alam natin kung ano ang karanasan ng kadilimang ito. It is a darkness of despair, a darkness of disappointment, a darkness of frustration. But in the midst of this darkness, the servant of the Lord talks of God's glory. The servant of the Lord also says, I am, I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. Kung kailan napakadilim, doon naman may liwanag ng luwalhati 
ng Panginoon. At the moment of darkness, the suffering servant of the Lord saw the brightness of God's glory. This is also what we see in our gospel today. Jesus is at the Last Supper and Jesus foretells the betrayal of Judas and the denial of Peter. It must have been a painful night for Jesus. Isipin nyo na lang yung pakiramdam ni Jesus sa sandaling ito. Nagahapunan siya kasama ng kanyang mga alagad na itinuring niyang kanyang mga kaibigan. Pero alam na alam niya sa isip niya, ilang oras pagkatapos nito, itatatwa siya ni Judas na kasama niya sa hapag. Alam na alam niya na sa ilang oras, itatanggi siya ni Pedro na kasama niya nagahapunan. Alam na alam niya na sa ilang sandali, iiwanan siya ng kanyang mga alagad, ililigtas ang kanilang sarili. What feeling Jesus felt that night. No wonder our gospel today explicitly says, It was night. It was night, not only because the sun had already set, it was night because of the darkness of betrayal and infidelity. It was night because of the darkness of loneliness and abandonment. Madilim na gabi dahil alam ni Jesus nalalapit na ang kanyang paghihirap at yung kanyang paghihirap nagsisimula sa pagtatwa ng kanyang mga kaibigan. But at this particular moment of darkness, Jesus also talks of God's glory. Jesus says, Now is the Son of Man glorified And God is glorified in Him. Kung kailan napakadilim, doon naman nakita ni Jesus ang liwanag ng luwalhati ng Diyos. When it was darkest, Jesus saw the shining glory of God. My dear brothers and sisters, many times we also feel that life is a long night made even darker by problems, trials, difficulties, loneliness, despair, betrayal, sufferings, sickness, heavy crosses. Madalas pakiramdam din natin ng ating buhay ay isang napakahabang gabi. Napakadilim na gabi. Madilim dahil sa mga pinagdaraanan natin. Madilim dahil sa mabigat na krus. Madilim dahil sa kasamaan na lumalaganap. Madilim dahil sa kasinungalingan. Madilim dahil sa mga baluktot na hangarin ng maraming tao. Parang lahat tayo dumadaan sa madilim na gabi, katulad ng pinagdaanan ni Jesus. But my dear brothers and sisters, when we feel that our life is like a long dark night, let us not lose hope. Let us be patient. Let us open our eyes. Let us look around and we will see the brightness of the glory of God. 
Kapag dumidilim ang buhay, hanapin ang liwanag. Habang padilim ng padilim ang ating buhay, lalong nagniningning ang liwanag. Dahil tunay na nakikita ang ningning ng mga bituin sa isang madilim na gabi. Remember, my dear brothers and sisters, when the night is darkest, the stars shine brightest. Please stand. Let us humbly present our petitions before our Lord, always remembering the suffering He endured in order to make salvation possible for us. For every petition, let us say, Jesus, through the merits of your passion, hear us. Jesus, through the merits of your passion, hear us. That those who feel betrayed by friends may avoid bitterness, let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, Jesus through, through the, the merits, merits of, of your, your passion, passion hear, hear us. us. That sinners may not be discouraged, but seek forgiveness in the sacrament of reconciliation, let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, Jesus through, through the, the merits, merits of, of your, your passion, passion hear, hear us. us. That those who suffer may find the strength to bear their burdens. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, Jesus through, through the, the merits, merits of, of your passion, passion, hear us. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, Jesus through, through the, the merits, merits of, of your, your passion, passion, hear us. That the dead may be given a place in the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, Jesus through, through the, the merits, merits of, of your, your passion, passion, hear us. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. Amen. God our Father, in your wisdom, you permitted your only Son to suffer for us. Through the Spirit, draw us closer to you that we may express our devout gratitude. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray on these offerings of your family. And to those you make partakers of these sacred gifts, Grant a share in their fullness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of His saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through Him the host of angels adores Your Majesty and rejoices in Your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings, and pour out on them the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, the sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, 
with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask the Father to forgive our sins and to bring us to forgive those who sin against us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from ignorance, deception, lies, and from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am, am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May your mercy, O God, cleanse the people that are subject to you from all seduction of former ways and make them capable of new holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.